Hey there. This is something I found on a Friday afternoon. Something that I was quite surprised to find. This is Stutter Ring John's album. So, from where I'm from, a lot of people wouldn't know who Stuttering John is. Um, and that's probably why I was sort of surprised to find it in a second-hand shop. Or find it full stop. But other than that, also, just this past week, a few days before I found this, I was watching a video on YouTube, a, a, a clip of the Howard Stern show, where they were talking about Stuttering John's album. And then I was reading the comments underneath it, and people were talking about how terrible it was and describing it. And so it was just like a real coincidence to find it a day after. Like I knew he had made an album, um, but I, I never, th I've never listened to it, and I never thought I'd ever see it. But um, so, if you don't know who Stutter Stuttering John is, he was on the Howard Stern show. He was an inter or he started as an intern on the Howard Stern Howard Stern show in the 1990s, late 80s, and he worked there for a while. The reason why I say I'm, I was surprised to find in New Zealand is because in New Zealand we didn't have the Howard Stern show. It wasn't, you know, obviously an American radio show wasn't broadcast on the radio here. The only way you'd really find out, I remember he was like referenced sometimes in like, um, you'd read, I'd read like Rolling Stone magazine and the articles and that, so there was sometimes be an article about him or his show or musicians would reference him or um i remember when his movie came out the movie i don't think the movie was released here but i remember the soundtrack from that there was a jane's addiction uh, song on it hard charger and they played the video for that on tv yeah music tv and um you could see how it's turned on that but he wasn't widely known he wasn't part of the the popular consciousness in new zealand as i'm sure he probably wasn't for most places outside of the u.s maybe apart from canada um so yeah he um he, he didn't have the popularity uh, here or any didn't have anything here compared to what he had in america so anyway his intern uh assistant whatever i think he answered the phones on the show stuttering john uh, i think it was melendez john melendez made an album in 1994 and what i think that really does is speak to the the massive influence that howard stern had in american media because of the fact that obviously they gave this guy a his this is on atlantic records so this isn't just some tiny little piss pot record label this is like a major label release atlanta records the same the same label that released fucking led zeppelin and many many other bands um the reason they obviously gave him the contract is because he was on the howard stern show and they could be guaranteed of at least a certain amount of sales because at that time howard stern was massive is i you i heard i've heard numbers that like he was broadcasting to like 60 million people in the morning on a normal morning which is just you know to have that kind of market share in any kind of media is, is massive and also i think it, this was at the time where his show was broadcast on tv on e channel they would show clips of it i think like in a, an hour per week or something like that and so it was even its reach was even um greater so Atlantic saw this, or maybe there were other record labels vying for, for his, uh, his music as well, and they thought, okay, well, we can be assured of a certain amount of sales, a certain level of sales, because anything associated with the Howard Stern show is going to sell at least something. So let's go give this guy a chance. The album isn't great, to be honest. It's not terrible. It's not like absolutely terrible, but it's just, it sounds like a, pub band or a, a bar band you know a band you'd hear playing on a saturday night and a, playing a, a, a bunch of covers and and a few of their own songs in a in a bar or a pub someone in the comments i was reading on another video um said it was trying to be soundgarden alice in chains which 
I don't think it sounds anything like Soundgarden or Alice in Chains. I think it was, you can hear it's kind of trying to go for some of that mid 90s alternative rock sound. But if anything, it sounds, I don't know, like a bad mud honey, mud honey or something like that. But then it also like veers into, I don't know, a terrible Bon Jovi as well. Like it's, um, if, yeah, I, I certainly wouldn't say, oh, it's, it sounds like it's a knockoff of Soundgarden. It, it, Soundgarden um, are, are not an easy band to replicate or to rip off, especially if you don't have a musical talent. And this doesn't sound like Soundgarden. Uh, the songs are, yeah, I guess the first three have that kind of grunge alternative rock sound. Gypsy Morning is a bit different. It kind of starts with a, a, more of an acoustic guitar sound, I think. But, and then the later songs, it, you can hear the quality kind of drop off than the later songs. And they kind of go more, it sounds like they're almost late 80s LA hair bands trying to do more serious rock, is the way that I'd say it sounds like. But like I said, it's not absolutely terrible. You can listen to it. It's just a bit boring. And, and you know, if it wasn't for who he was on the, the Stern, uh, Howard Stern show, he very unlikely wouldn't have had a record label. Uh, sorry, a record contract. Anyway, the condition of it is okay. The case is cracked. This was a dollar. The CD itself has got a picture of a armless lady. The booklet, so it's got some strippers on the back. And there's John and his bandmates. His bandmates Bill Titus and uh, Bruce Valero. I thought he might have had it. He might have got some um, kind of famous players to guest on it or something, but uh, apparently not. listening to the Howard Stern show the guy always came across as really unlikable so I I do the only way I've I've heard how the, the Howard Stern show from the 90s is there's a lot of YouTube material where people have recorded stuff from back then and they upload it and it gets taken down quite often as well but um it's actually it's good to put on kind of as a background thing like if I'm busy doing something like cleaning the house or something or making dinner I often put a Howard Stern clip on just to listen to because it's it's entertaining and I can see why it was popular to a degree um, but of all the people on it no one really comes across as particularly likable not even Howard really um, but Stuttering John comes across yeah as, as a pretty unlikable guy as a real he seemed like he was always kind of uh, out to try and get something. Although I can understand reading about it, a bit about it, he was only making like he was he wasn't making like, for a, for a show that was uh, had massive massive success and apparently Howard was, was making tens of millions of dollars per year. The the staff, the lower level staff, were only making ten or twenty thousand dollars a year. So I can understand why they were trying to kind of have outside uh, pursuits to try and uh, supplement their income. But I guess the way that you do that, you can do it in a way that comes off as a bit shystery or not. And John always seemed a bit of a grifter. And um, I see him pop up nowadays. He's got his own podcast. You know, he's, he's a lot older now. He's in his 50s. And he's, he seems to be always in wars, like beefs with people, other, other podcasters or yeah, I I don't really live, follow that closely, but just from like the video titles and things, it always seems like he's in an argument with someone, or this person said that, or um, yeah. So anyway, it was just sort of an interesting thing to find. Like I said, I never 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 expected to find this in in a secondhand shop in New Zealand, and just because, like I said earlier, that same week I'd been reading and about the exact album and here, reading a funny comment about how terrible it was so just to find it there yeah, i was like quite shocked and for a dollar not bad so um not something i'll probably ever listen to again to be honest uh 
but it's in the collection and um <laughs> yeah stuttering john's self-titled atlantic records album from 1994 thanks for watching